so we are so glad to meet you here again. Today, let's talk about uh, more about the uh, first meter. Last episode, uh, we mentioned uh, what is first meter and oximeter device will combine two wavelengths that pass through the patient's body to a photo detector. This time, we would like to tell how oximeter works. At first, uh, arterial oxygen situation values are determined by the combination principles of optical pensmography and uh, spectrophotometry. Light absorbance technology helps uh, optical pensmography to have waveforms produced by pulsating blood. Spectrophotometry takes charge of measuring wavelengths of light and light absorption and uh, giving substance. Before we learn more about uh, how oximeter work, uh, we need to understand something of what situation is. Oxygen enters the lungs and uh, then is passed uh, on to the blood. The blood carries the oxygen to the various organs in our body. The main way oxygen is carried in our blood is by means of hemoglobin. You can imagine hemoglobin markers as cars and the roads being our blood vessels. These oxygen markers get into these cars and travel around the body till they reach their destination. The help without oxygen we can call this oxygenated help. The help with oxygen we can call oxygen related help. So we may ask, how help does it work through? Help absorbs light, and the amount of light absorbed is proportional to the concentration of HP in the blood vessel. In the diagram below, the blood vessels in both fingers have the same diameter. However, one blood vessel has a low HEP concentration and the other blood vessel has a high HEP concentration. Each single HEP absorbs some of the light, so more the HEP per unit area contains, more the higher light absorbed. Then we can see a graph for the absorbance of uh, oxyhab and uh, deoxyhab at different wavelengths. You can compare them and find out how differently each of them absorb lights of different wavelengths. Secondly, let's talk about what does a pulse meter measure. As an early warning device, a pulse meter can test uh, three main numerical values. The first one is oxygen saturation, which we also call SPO2. Oxygen saturation indicates the oxygen level in your blood. The ideal range of oxygen saturation is no less than 94%. However, as some patients may have low levels, the person's normal levels should be determined. If the level is lower than normal, first try another finger. If the level is 3 to 5 percent lower than the usual step level or lower than 90 percent, please consult your doctor. For the pulse rate in beats per minute, average about 60 to 100 times per minute. Some oximeters display a pulse waveform or indicator that uh, illustrate the strength of the pulse being detected. This display indicates how well the tissues are perfused. The single strength falls if the circulation becomes inadequate. Perfusion index indicates the arterial pulse signal strength and may be used as a diagnostic tool during low perfusion. Pulsation of the blood flow is greater, the riper complement is more, and the value of PI is greater. 
Human PR range is about uh, 0.02% to 20%, usually it's greater than 1%. In general, high PI means more healthy, low PI means more weakness or infant. So let's move to another question, how to choose a suitable pulse meter. Several companies manufacture pulse meters what elements we should take consideration to choose. The device from a well-known manufacturer is Phil Ritz-Bresto showed about the quality standards maintained during the manufacturing process. The purchasing purpose. You might need to decide what your goals are for using a oximeter so that you can ask for your doctor. If you only want to check your oxygen levels uh, periodically, a small clip on oximeter or a fingertip proximeter will probably work fine. If you have a chronic uh, illness that requires continuous monitoring, you need a model capable of constant use. By talking with your doctor, you can layer down your specific needs and uh, take the right meter much easier. Size. There are different types of lux meter in market. If you are buying an meter for a hospital city, a large size device will be good. Well, if it is required for personal use, a small one will serve the purpose. Pediatric lux meters are intended for children. Handheld devices are preferred by individuals who take their own readings. And the sleep apnea oximeters are used to monitor blood oxygen levels during a sleep study of patients. Think about your need and purpose when choose device accordingly. A currency. A currency is a critical element that must be considered while looking for the right pulse meter. Honestly, in current any size of vital signs can be extremely dangerous. Portability. Try to ask if oximeter portability is something you need. If you want the device to be with you all the time, and you need to carry it in your pocket or your purse. A small sized, easy to use pulse meter must be your first choice. Reviews. Look for product reviews online or ask people you know who are already buy or using the pulse meter. Taking a physical recommendation can also help in selecting a good quality oximeter. Going through them can help in understanding which brand is more popular for use. The price. First thing to note here is that a high price does not always guarantee a good quality. Well, no price, no price does not always mean. Some cost less than $100, while some are worth a cup of thousand. Therefore, decide the features you want and the amount of money you are willing to spend. With this things clear in mind, it should be no confusion in choosing an oximeter. Warranty period. Confirm the warranty period. Some company offers one year and some companies offer the two year or number. It is wise to choose a oximeter which is uh, covered uh, for two year warranty or longer term so that you get a longer period uh, of coverage. You don't have to worry about who to contact uh, if there is a problem. Refund policy. Ask whether the refund facility is uh, available or not. Or not. Since it does not work, you might need to find a proper solution so that refund policy is one of the main consideration. Therefore, the oximeter for a manufacturer who is ready to refund the money. 
When the product fails to work after opening the pack, which would be your choice? Online availability. Pax Nira can also be bought online. Through the internet, it is possible to check the specifications and the price of the device that are available in the market. Many manufacturers also have special offers to increase the sales of the product. This is, can be an advantage if you have already started your product. Online shopping is also a good choice. Manual testing. If you get a chance, try to use the oximeter before you made the purchase. That helps you to know how to choose. The so next episode, we will explore more, such as what index and the facts will impact pulse meters accuracy, how to use pulse meter correctly. So we are looking forward to see you again. If you want to learn more, please email us. And uh, last but not least, we thank you for your watching.